Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It is Alwanza. Hi, everyone. And I am back with a reading of the Good News Daily. So today, I'm so excited to have on my work hard, play hard shirt. So I'm, I'm excited about that. So today's reading is from Sunday, February 23rd, Miracles Through the Word. How nice. Miracles through the word. And we just learned that the prophet told us to go read all the scriptures that Jesus did about healing in the gospels. And now he says that miracles through the word. So I'm applied that same concept without even reading what it says first and be like, hey, if I go read all the miracles that Jesus performed, hey, through the word, then I should see miracles in my life that I may do for others as well as receive. So I'm excited about that. And I haven't even read it. So let's get started. Where the text is coming from Psalm 29, 4 and verse 5. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord rebuketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. And, you know, um, to my uh, knowledge, cedars of Lebanon, those were those big thick trees. That was the strong wood that they used to build um, for the Lord back then. So the Lord break the cedars of Lebanon. Like, let's see. <laughs> now, let's see what the prophet says. It says, inside God's word is latent power just waiting to be liberated. Latent means just there, needs to be activated and free. Inside God's word is latent power just waiting to be liberated. The word needs a voice to be activated. And we did just read that about speaking aloud in one, on one of these days through the good news daily. Coupled with your faith and voice, the spoken word is akin to God himself speaking. Wow. Now look at the poetic manner in which God's voice is described. It's said to not only be powerful and majestic, but to also break the cedars of Lebanon. These cedars are very hard and strong plants. So what's being revealed here is the ability of God's word to dismantle hard problems. And I'm wearing my work hard, play hard shirt, which I love. I had no idea. Just threw that in there. So what's being revealed here is the ability of God's word to dismantle hard problems. The spoken word is miraculous. Joshua, who had been told by God to fill himself with the word, got so saturated and drenched by the word that when he spoke, the sun and moon obeyed him. Joshua was the one who the sun didn't set till they won the battle. The Lord spoke to the raging sea and it instantly quieted as in fear. And that's in reference to Mark 4 and verse 39. I wonder whether your tongue is dominated by his word. Is your heart drenched in scripture? If not, get into it right now. Hey, that's what the prophet said. The Holy Spirit will quicken the word in you and cause your speech to yield miraculous fruit. Now, I didn't know that. The Holy Spirit will quicken the word in you. So that's why he tells us before we need to put the word in us to give the Holy Spirit something to quicken, to shake, to jolt, to come alive, which he says that word that is waiting to be liberated. It needs a voice to be activated. Get the word in me. The Holy Ghost is going to free it with my, in my speech. And it says, and cause your speech to yield miraculous fruit. Y'all, I'm just seeing this and I'm trying to portray what I'm seeing through my hands and my words and my body language, I guess, through my reading. But I can actually see what the prophets are saying here. Now for the prophetic declaration, it's a big one. And I am going to um, read it. It's pretty long here. So I'm going to read it. And then as I read it, you repeat it after me. Okay. So it says, oh, let's see what the prophets have declared over us. We just receive it, believe it. And it's that simple. So let's see. My heart is a table for God's word to be written on. My tongue 
will speak more of his word than anything else. I am filled with the spirit and power to command hardships to end. From today, God's voice through me cancels out Satan's noise. I was about to say, wow, that is a powerful declaration. I'm going to read it over as one complete sentence just so we both can hear it, make it tangible. My heart is a table for God's word to be written on. My tongue will speak more of his word than anything else. I am filled with the spirit and power to command hardships to end. From today, God's voice through me counsels out Satan's noise. That is just too much. That is a lot. And that is a lot of word going in there in me, declaring over my life, replacing Satan's noise and power that is, I am filled with the spirit and power to command hardships to end. And I have had hardships and I refuse anymore to have another hardship. It's just not who I am, not with the spirit in me. So I thank God for his word. Now for the further study is taken from St. John chapter 14 and verse 10. And it says, believe thou not that I am in the father and the father in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the father which dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Now look at God, Jesus there giving God the father all the glory all the works that we do. This work hard, God has to get the glory because in the life with Christ, work is easy. Christ had easy work. My goodness, this is good. The next one is Numbers 20 and verse eight. So we have two today. So Numbers 20 and verse eight says, take the rod and gather thou the assembly together. Thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes. And it shall give forth his water, and thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock. So thou shalt give the congregation and their beasts drink. Wow. This word came, was spoken. And... It wasn't even for himself. It was for everybody else to give the congregation and their beast drink. So the word was spoken with the commandment what to do. So the word came with instructions and the instructions were in front. It was to feed everybody else. That's something to ponder on and meditate on. Hmm. Well, I love you guys. I thank you guys for tuning in and paying. Um attention to the word that is read through the prophets spoken through their good news daily. I love this book. <laughs> I do. I do. I love this devotional. Like this Rima word is just priceless. And I thank God for you tuning in. Again, my name is Alwanza. And until next time, peace.